Hey, it's Kurt Thompson, and you're looking at a snapshot of YouTube analytics of one of my best performing videos, MacArthur Park. And look, I've received only $5 in ad revenue from YouTube. Please go over to Patreon, become a supporter, support my channel and my work and what I'm doing. I really need your help. Thank you so much. This is Kurt Thompson. What is the biggest, worst mistake you could possibly make as a brand new beginning French horn student? Not learning your fingerings, your rotor positions, and the notes that they correlate to. That is the biggest one. And the telltale sign of that typically is a year or two after you started band. And if I were to open up your book or open or look at your music for the upcoming concert, whether it's in the winter or the spring, and if I see lots of ones, zeros, twos, or combinations of that, I know that you haven't learned your fingerings. And in fact, the longer that you go, the odds are you might drop out of band and you might quit playing this all together. And the reason is, you have succumbed to the worst and biggest possible mistake you can make as a beginning French horn player. And that is not learning your fingerings. You got to do that. If you don't, you're going to constantly be behind the ball and you're going to get so frustrated with your playing that you might even, might even end up quitting. And it's a doggone shame because learning your fingerings requires no musical talent. There's no musical talent involved. And correcting the worst mistake you could be making on the French horn. All you need to do is to pull out your trusty band book, or if you watch my other video on the Essential Elements book, take that book out. You're not going to probably like to do this. And guess what? Fingering chart. Yeah, you've been looking at it and you've been avoiding it for what? A month, a semester, two years. Now you're in middle school. You're going to have to buckle down and do that. And when you do, you're going to be thanking me a million times over because you're going to start to like to play this instrument and you're going to enjoy it. And you're not going to constantly have to write down all the fingerings and be wondering what that fingering is and what this position is. You're just not going to have to do that. You need to buckle down right now. Correct the worst, biggest mistake if you are making it on the French horn and that's not knowing your of rotor fingering positions. It's very, very easy. Like this video, if you did. Subscribe if you haven't, if you wanna see more informative French horn beginning lessons like this. I'm Kurt Thompson, I'll see you in the next one. Please go over to Patreon, become a supporter, support my channel and my work and what I'm doing. I really need your help. Thank you so much, this is Kurt Thompson.